built in 1737, this was the home of John Hancock's grandparents and the place Paul Revere stopped to warn Hancock and Samuel Adams of the advancing troops in 1775. This house has been preserved and restored by the Lexington Historical Society. In fact, Lexington is still home to over 40 houses from the 18th century. We think of these houses as colonials because they were the first houses the colonists built when they came here from England. Essentially, they were the same types of homes they already were building back in Europe. And the form is very familiar and traditional. Generally, there's a chimney mass that passes through the center of the building, a steeply pitched roof. They usually have a central entrance surrounded by a series of double hung windows of various configurations with small panes of glass. It's a classic American style. It's interesting to note that as building technology advanced, colonials did not change very much over the next hundred years. So whether they were Georgian or federal in style, they look remarkably like the earlier houses. A wave of nostalgia after World War I led to a movement that came to be known as the Colonial Revival. Many new homes were built in that style in the early 20th century. And in modern times when we can build any style of house we can imagine, Americans are still building in that colonial style. So what's the appeal? Well, perhaps it's the symmetry. Or maybe it's the simplicity or the adaptability of the floor plan. But it may just be a strong sense of American tradition. We've had the opportunity to work on many of them over the years in locations all over New England. And old or new, they've made for some of our most memorable jobs. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.